All right, so we're in part four of this series, uh, looking at uh, the, the timeline of the U.S. church. We've, we've gone from 1905 uh, through uh, this ghost monkey trial in, in 1925, uh, the start of welfare assistance in 1933, Roe v. Wade in 1973, uh, <clears throat> legalization of gay marriage in, in 2015, and we're now addressing COVID in 2020 and uh, uh, the uh, critical race theory and uh, racism that has um, just exploded uh, onto uh, the church's time frame. We've talked about how the church has been taking steps back if they're in a ring fighting, um, they keep taking steps back. And now we find the church up against the ropes in the ring. There's no place to go. And so the question I'm asking is what direction is the church going to go next? If we're to be faithful, fruit bearing disciples, where is the direction we are to go next? If we are called to believe the, the Bible, uh, to belong to family and build the kingdom of God, what direction are we going to go next? If, if we are up against the ropes right now and the church has continued to take steps backwards and attendance has continued to decrease throughout decades and decades, what direction is the church going to go next? COVID hits in 2020, critical race theory, racism, riots, Black Lives Matter are all on the scene. And the church explodes in online services. Churches shut down all across America due to COVID. In-person services are, are gone. We're only now just getting back to having in-person services and Across the board, the average uh, American churches, they're only seeing 36% of their total membership even returning back to church. These numbers I'm giving you are from, uh, from Barna and Lifeway. Uh, 41% of Gen Z and millennials say that they will even return to church post-COVID. Gen X, my generation, are almost... Are almost disappearing from church right now. And baby boomers, as they get older, are finding it harder and harder to, to attend church. One, because the uh, hearing goes, hearing loss is a huge, huge um, uh, deal when people start to decide they're not gonna return to church. Uh, health becomes a major issue. Um, so. The church is shrinking, continuing to shrink in, in numbers and attendance in, in 2020 and 2021. One in five uh, churches are facing closure right now. 4,500 churches close every year. Last year, uh, as far as church growth, as far as planting churches, we saw 1.5%, negative 1.5%. Growth rate because we only planted uh, 3,300 churches last year. So we're not even planting or able to plant more churches than we are losing every year. That's a problem. In 2020, church membership, the national average of, of people, American citizens claiming to be a member of a a church, uh, a, a mosque, a, a, a temple um, has gone down from 2015, where it was at 55 percent, down to 47 percent. Mind you, back in 1920, membership was at 80 plus percent of, of American citizens that claimed to be a, in a church of some sort. It's down to 47 percent. All the money, all the work that has gone into planting churches, um, 
raising up fruit-bearing disciples, the church growth movement and exploding on the scene and all the wonderful things that each one of these movements have accomplished, we have still seen a decrease in church membership and a church shrinking and a church up against the ropes in this battle to build the kingdom of God and take the gospel of Jesus Christ to the world. Where is the church going to go next? I have some good news. Back in 1910, there were 600 million Christians globally. In 2019, there are 2.5 billion Christians globally. Beyond beyond America. But there's still 7.8 billion people who need to hear the gospel of Jesus Christ. It is up to us to make the changes in our life, to make faith our life, not a part of our life, to accomplish the mission, the command that Jesus Christ has given us to go into all the world and make disciples. But it starts by making disciples here in this church and in our city, our region, our state, our country, our own country, and the world. So let's do that. That's where we need to go. We need to get ourselves off the ropes and back in the center ring, fighting again with the gospel of Jesus Christ. And it starts with believing the Bible, belonging to family, in order to build the kingdom of God. Let's do that.